So now in the last video we did, we had this set up here. It's a 1000 ohm resistor. We're using an 18 volt power supply, so actually we're exceeding the quarter watt rating of the resistor, but only for about a second while we are charging or discharging this capacitor. And so what we have here, the trim pot set down to uh, zero volts out of 18. If I quickly turn it all the way up, now it is trying to output 18 volts, but as you can see, it takes the capacitor time to charge up to 18 volts. We're about there now, but uh, in any case, it takes, since we're using a 1000 ohm resistor, and this is a 100, uh, 1000 microfarad capacitor, that's the same as one millifarad, so one thousandths of a farad, and one thousand of ohms of resistance, you multiply those two numbers together, you get the time constant of one second. And that gives you about one fifth of the time it takes to charge all the way. And so it takes one second to charge to about 63%. Another second to charge about the next 63%. And so on. So right now I want to add an uh, LED when we charge and discharge. So I'm actually going to, there we go, we can see pretty good. Move this over to here and uh, down one row right there. So it's still to the output of the trim pot and it is down one row. This is where I have the uh, red alligator clip for the multimeter probe and then the black one is connected to ground. I just clipped them to these jumpers I tried to stay away from the end because you get little notches and stuff. It's rough on the uh, breadboard when you insert them into there later on. So let's get a green LED. Let's get it so it conducts while the capacitor is discharging. So we're going to put the long lead, the anode, to where the capacitor is and uh, short lead the cathode to where the resistor is connected. And then we're going to grab a red LED and do the opposite. We want it to conduct while the capacitor is charging. And it doesn't really matter, but uh, generally I do red when the trim pot's more positive, and when it's more negative, I use green in uh, recent videos. So I'm going to stick with that. And the battery's about to die, so I'm going to uh, come right back. Alright, so I replaced the uh, battery in my camera. I'm going to unpause this and so it looks like, uh, yeah, we're up to uh, that voltage, probably about uh, 16 volts or something. These capacitors don't hold their charge, especially at higher voltages, for a large period of time. They have leakage, and uh, so it'll probably go down and then settle at some point. But in case, we added the LEDs in series, and what we're going to do is to uh, rapidly set it to discharge, you see the green. LED came on really bright at first and as current goes down the brightness of the LED goes down and another thing you'll notice that before we were getting down to that yellow arrow down there that was zero volts and we're not getting all the way down there probably about uh, 1.5 volts or so probably in that range because the LED needs voltage to get it conduct the green one should be probably about two volts and let's see if we actually have that I don't think I've ever measured the uh, green LED when it was used to prevent a capacitor from discharging all the way and uh, but that's one of the things that you have to be aware of when you're using semiconductors you're losing usually voltage and in this case for it to uh, charge this. Okay, so it's holding up to two volts, which is what it looked like on, uh, on the display pretty closely. So let's now do the opposite. And this time also, I'm gonna pause it at the end. So we did the discharge, we saw that curve. And now let's, uh, we're at zero, zero volts for the trim pot, but 
there's a two volt difference between the output of the trim pot and the capacitor but the green LED is not letting that voltage change anymore so we'll shoot that up you see as the capacitor charges quicker at first the LED is brighter now the LED is getting dimmer so I've done demonstrations where I just showed that and there we go we uh, stopped that uh, pretty closely so one thing to remember we still have the same time constant so although the LEDs were blocking a certain amount of voltage when I turn the trim pot uh, pretty rapidly and it looks like I did okay because you don't see like a slow curve up it looks like it curves up pretty quickly you can still see one second is still about 63 percent from its final destination so about 63 percent you can see goes up about uh, so these are five volts a square so we got uh, one and maybe uh, almost two squares so almost 10 volts or so within the uh, first couple or first second and then the next one you can see it's all within one square that uh, that whole second so it's slowed way down and there is our final destination so one two three four five fifth time constant that looks like that's about when it's fully charged it doesn't really charge any more than that so the time constant doesn't change just the voltages change and also the LEDs kind of black less voltage as less currents going through it so that's going to factor too and that's all things if you want to get a real nitpicky that you can look at so first or next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the uh, power source voltage down to 5 volts and we're going to actually see the green LED light up while I do that and uh, I should have got the meter going first so so now we're at uh, 11.8 and there are eight squares on there so what I'm going to do I'm going to uh, drop it down to 8 volts oops that went up okay, let's go down to uh, 8 volts and uh, probably just a spec more so there you can see as I lowered the voltage the uh, capacitor is now discharging and so since I set it to 8 volts we can use all of these uh, squares here and so we're gonna go to the voltage and so it's already set to it I'm gonna turn the dial to get a lower number you actually have to turn it clockwise it's kind of strange but there you can see the uh, voltage changed and now we are up there let us it went to that blue line let's put zero all the way down down there there you go and uh, looks like we are charged uh, to 8 volts right now so we will drop her to zero see the green LED got real bright and it is uh, dropped down so I think after we discharge it and now you can see we're at that 2 volts now because 0 volts is at the bottom so 1 2 so now I think when we charge it we'll have about 1.6 volts that the red LED drops so instead of getting to 8 volts which I have the power supply set at we will be one and probably about a half volts less than that so we will look at that when we shoot this up to 8 volts but yeah you still see that curve we have the same uh, resistor and capacitor so we're going to have the same one time constant and so there you can see over the first second we have the majority of our charge so one two and it looks like almost uh, three volts and then so coming across about there our final charge is really one and almost like a half half more for our final charge and so we got the bulk of our charge within that first second our first time constant probably about 63 percent so adding the LEDs changes the voltage but not the time from our starting voltage to our ending voltage which is 
calculated in time constants and in this case we got one time constant of one second and then after five time constants we will have basically our full uh, final voltage either charging or discharging and so let's also since uh, we added the LEDs now let's take them away and go back to where we started with uh, without the LEDs which are a nice visual effect and but once you once you understand what the uh, graph is doing you don't really need visual effects anymore you can see voltages right there uh, what they're doing and put the resistor back so now the resistor is plenty safe for this voltage one kilo ohm resistor is going to be below a quarter watt we were about a third of a watt right when we had the uh, the most current going through the resistor before but again it was a short period of time it takes some time for them to warm up so we were probably still okay but you wouldn't want to have 18 volts across a one kilo ohm resistor for uh, very long at all so let's get back going and you can see the line I think it's up to the very top right now let's go down to uh, seven and a half yeah there we can see that we'll go up to about 7.9 just so we don't lose sight of uh, of that line and this bench power supply it's just a knob with the display it's not terribly accurate it's not meant to be uh, really accurate but it is pretty close to 8 volts so let's uh, shoot down to nothing now and you can see it skyrocketed pretty quickly towards uh, 0 volts now it is at 0 volts we will just stop it there so we can get a better look so this is actually 8 volts just a spec less to make it so we don't lose that line because there's 8 squares here 8 divisions and 1 volt per division and you can see it skyrockets down that first second and that is about two thirds of the way right there and uh, pretty close and then the next second we're starting there so one second there two seconds there again we're about 63 or so percent closer to our final voltage and so on and so it's a curve like that RC time constant so in any case hopefully uh, you found that all interesting I think I covered everything I uh, plan to and I hope you found it interesting so thanks for watching I will see you in the next video